Welcome to Splendid Teapot Racing, the hottest competitive sport to pour through the steampunk community since tea dueling. Here we see the racers gearing up for the big race. Steampunk ingenuity and creativity are on display. Look at that artistry and imagination. No two racers are alike, even though each competitor is given the same set of design rules to follow. Each teapot racer must consist of a remote-controlled vehicle, no larger than 12 inches wide, 12 inches tall, and 16 inches long. And don't forget the all-important teapot in that design. Excitement is bubbling up as race time approaches, but first let's go to Wally to hear about the prizes. Thank you, old-timey announcer guy. I'm standing here at the Splendid Teapot Racing Registration Table where the prize medals are on exhibit. Each of these ribbons is handmade for this event. There's most splendid design, most splendid speed, most splendid course completion, and most dastardly driver for the most entertaining cheat. There's also the Grand Champion Ribbon for the overall highest score. Not any one of these unique ribbons is inconceivable. Now back to you, old-timey announcer guy. Thank you, Wally. Something is brewing at the judges' seats. The first competitor has approached the judges with the ritual bribes. These, dear viewers, are not monetary bribes, nor are they are usually homemade items, and are another chance for the steampunk to demonstrate creativity in such areas as baking, crafts, poetry, mixology, or compliments. The competitors are judged on the quality of their bribes. Speaking of judging, let's take a moment to look at the score sheet. Points are awarded for the overall look of the vehicle, successful negotiation of the hazards, course completion, quality of the bribe, and showmanship. Points are deducted for manually assisting a vehicle, exceeding the three-minute time limit, exceeding the specified size limit, or vexing the judges. The races are about to begin. For those of you not familiar with Splendid Teapot Racing, this is a timed obstacle course, so races go one at a time. And they're off. Rocketing around the track at speeds of up to three miles per hour. The chills and spills of the teacup slalom are first. Here comes the Ramp of Doom. This ramp really lives up to its name. The whole of the races achieve greatness through speed. Your forgotten cup of tea may cool faster than these tank-based teapot races run, but they make up for that with maneuverability. And now, the chasm of death. The teapot racer steams up the steep ramp and leaps the terrifying two-inch gap with devastating ease. From New Zealand, the birthplace of splendid teapot racing, comes the newest hazard, the seesaw of indecision. It's time to tip that teapot. The Tunnel of Terror is next. This may look like an easy obstacle, but don't be deceived. Out of the darkness and into the light. The anticipation of the crowd boils over into ecstatic applause as the racer crosses the finish line. Being a terrific teapot racer often takes more than just good driving skills. Sometimes it takes quick thinking. When batteries go dead or your racer is leaving a trail of broken parts across the track, don't throw in the tea towel. Think of an entertaining alternate method of traversing the course and reaching the finish line. Keep the judges and spectators laughing with your clever but unorthodox style and walk away with the coveted Most Dastardly Driver Medal. Thank you for joining us today for Splendid Teapot Racing. Please stay tuned for Splendid Teapot Drag Racing, the most chaotic three seconds in steampunk.